The key elements in any human-centric network are humans and their brains. Although cognitive architectures have greatly advanced in recent years, their strength lies in predicting normative cognition under conditions of complete information, low stress, and low time pressure. What is less understood are the computational bases of the biases and heuristics that are used by human cognition to make sense of complex and uncertain information under time-stressed conditions. Meeting these challenges requires the use of methods from cognitive neuroscience. In the CogWorks lab, we use a common tool of cognitive neuroscience called electroencephalography, or EEG, to record electrical signals from the brain. To acquire our waveform data, we use a sponge-based geodesic sensor net that does not require any scalp abrasion, instead relying on the conductivity of a saline-based electrolyte solution to transmit brain signals to the amplifier. Little preparation is required, and the net can be applied, adjusted, and calibrated in only a few minutes. Once the net is in place, participants perform the experimental task as normal, and their waveforms are recorded. EEG waveforms tend to be quite subtle, and are susceptible to interference from other electrical activity producing sources, such as ocular muscles. These other sources produce recognizable patterns in the raw EEG waveform that can be filtered out as part of the data cleanup process. Once the data has had unwanted artifacts removed, it can then be analyzed for event-related potentials, or ERPs, which are brain responses that are the result of a specific thought or perception, and represent specific neural processes. Some well-known ERPs include the P100 wave, which represents early attentional selection, the N100 wave, which is elicited by unpredictable stimuli in the absence of task demands. The P200 wave, still being heavily researched, is involved in attention-modulated perceptual processing. The N200 wave, found over anterior scalp sites, is evoked in recognition of stimulus conflict. The P300 wave represents classification of task-relevant information and is sensitive to novelty effects. If we are successful, these methods will yield more accurate and insightful models of how people interact with networks under time-stressed conditions.